Gummy Bear even found a way oh, to get no. underneath the CPU onto the socket. Oh no! Hello everybody, this is Julian from Julian Tech TM and today I'll be reacting to PC TikToks. Yeah, so I always been entertained by people reacting to TikTok. I actually asked y'all on Instagram who to react and one of the most popular one is Carter PCs. 2.1 million views, it looks, it looks chaotic. Let's, I mean like, how does that even happen? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Is that a California roll? There is yum yum sauce all over my headphones, bro. See, what now I really like to blame IKEA for this tragedy, but I can oh. admit it's it's my fault. I'm just an idiot. The guy just in the freaking mail from the headset. Hardware savvy. Recently featured by Linus Tech Tips. Instantly make your PC fast. How to instantly make your computer faster. Tap the Windows icon and then the gear icon. Okay. And go to settings. Once you open the settings, go to system. Then tap on power and sleep. Once you are in power and sleep, on the right side, you're gonna see an option that says additional power options. Tap on additional power settings. Okay. In most modern PCs, there are two options, balanced and power, but Windows normally hides an additional option. Tap on show additional plants, and you will see a high performance option. This high performance option- Wait. Isn't this just for laptops? Actually, what you can do, right, you just go power and then there's this like setting that goes choose power plan so you can just go straight there. I not just have high performance eh, I have ultimate performance leh. So let's try this. With all my recording uh, in the background, I'm gonna do multi-core render, uh, rendering. So right now, I'm at balance, which is the recommended. Okay, recommended. 8 core, 16 threads. Let's see the score. 14,172 points. Okay, can. I go ultimate performance not even high guys not even high ultimate performance the results uh yeah 14,267 there is an improvement but it's and i would say teenily weenily this are not a lot of views but get more fps in valoran here's how to get more fps in valorant on uh, yes, pc I want to know you can how. do it by adjusting in-game settings or also by adjusting the nvidia settings to get uh -huh. these settings, head on over to HardwareSavvy.com and copy these exact settings. Full video on YouTube. That's it. Okay. How do you get more FPS? Change your settings to low. No shit, Sherlock! Hardware Savvy is a... Uh, content is more to the software side instead of the hardware side. Okay, next TikTok will be in Gem Game Tech. This one, I kind of watched it before I saw one that is... Uh, they have a lot of cool setups. Not very informative, but just, I guess, cool to watch. I don't know. Let's see. 2.2 million. Okay. Give the snack. What? The, why is... What is this? It's a panda bear. It's not even like the whole panda. It's the face of the panda and her, her hands are coming out from the eyes of the panda. What? And she gets a big snack. And this dude gets a small stack. What? What's wrong with him? Huh? Is he a bad boy? Naughty boy? Huh? What? What the hell he do? Huh? Look at his face. Bruh. <coughs> Wait, that, that's all it takes to get 2.2 million views? What? Ooh, this one. What is the difference between G-Dragon and Veyron? G-Dragon has transparent RGB side panels. You can change the colors as you like. It has zero gravity rotation feeling like floating in the outer space. Not to forget the drink cooler and heater. Plus wireless drink phone charger. Drink cooler and heater. Ultimate version. Drink cooler and heater. That sold me, man. Where do I buy it? Where do I buy it? $13,999 and I think it's in US dollars. <gasps> Here's the thing, okay? If you have a long gaming session, right? You can bring as much snacks as you want and there's no problem. But you know, if you want to have a coffee, hot cocoa tea, it's not very nice at room temperature, right? So you can't bring all your drinks in one spot. And if you get something cold, then it's also not very good because it's going to warm up and then it's going to be room temperature and I don't know whether you all tried drinking coke that's room temperature. It's disgusting, okay? It's disgusting. Disgusting. Next uh, TikToker I, is one of my actual actual TikTokers that I watch because I don't know, his, his videos are very interactive. I found this guy out from his very, very early TikToks where he does different thermal paste patterns. Snowman. Snowman pattern. 
okay, I don't want to get uh, demonetized because of the music. But yeah, you, you get it. You get it, okay? He does more now using lotion. Last week, I replaced my thermal paste with lotion to see how it performed over time. Even after seven days, the lotion is performing particularly well, keeping the CPU temperature around 44 to 46 degrees Celsius, which is just the same as thermal paste. Lotion is good. However, it is becoming noticeable that the lotion is evaporating much quicker than thermal paste ever would. This Guys, if you want me to do it on YouTube, I'll test this out, okay? Just like the video. See the response for this video, okay? Whoa! I believe he has done something more uh, interactive. Okay, I think this is the one. PC detective. This PC is operational. It has one major flaw. One major flaw, okay. Can you figure it out? Ah, found it already. The flaw is your RAM slot. You put the RAM in the wrong RAM slot, okay? You put it in the first and second when you're supposed to put it at the second and fourth. That was fun. Next one, part two, part two. Operational, but again, it has one major flaw. Okay, one major flaw. The RAM is put in the correct slot. Oh, right. That, right. Ship you on the wrong PCIe slot. Technically, it will still boot up, but because you're using the other PCIe lanes that has uh, less lanes, you will not get the most out of the GPU, especially when it's a game that demands a lot of GPU performance. Let's do more. How about I let it run, then you can play along with me, okay? This PC is up. Okay, do y'all get it? What is wrong is that the HDMI is plugged into the motherboard instead of the GPU. That is one problem that uh, Vincent, so he was playing his game and say, wait, J Julian, my, my PC very lag. Ah. But the PC itself, like normal non-player game, lag or not? He said, no. Look behind your PC, where you put your HDMI, ah, the top HDMI or the bottom one? Oh yeah, I put the top one. And then I'm like, Vincent, you put your HDMI in the motherboard. Please put the HDMI in your GPU, which is why you bought your GPU. Vincent, please. Vincent. Gummy bear. 16.6 .6 million, oh my god, hell. What happens if you use a gummy bear instead of thermal paste in your PC? This ends up being one of the messiest experiments I've ever done. Oh so no. as always, please don't try this at home. Since oh the gummy bear no. was so thick, I had to use a lot of pressure to get it squished down onto the CPU. Oh no, and with it applied, we can measure the temperature of the CPU with this top it's line draft. And, and as you can see, under load, the, the temperature begins to quickly rise until capping out at around 99 degrees Celsius, oh, yeah, which is super hot. It's so hot, in fact, that it completely melted the gummy bear and allowed it to reform all around the CPU. What's worse is the melted gummy bear even found a way oh, to get no. underneath the CPU onto the socket. Oh no! <laughs> this will be a tough one to clean up, but on the bright side, it does look delicious. De Mr. Easter! Delicious? Come on, man! What happened? But yeah, I oh man. Respect! This fact! And then with the music some more. What happens if you use a gummy bear instead of thermal paste in your PC? This ends up being one of the messiest experiments I've ever done. So as always, please don't try this at home. 12.3 million. What happens if you put ice on a CPU? You might expect it to melt, but not this fast. This video is in real time, and the CPU is at room temperature. Okay, okay, I gotta try this. I gotta try this. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Is it, is it focused, is it focused? Okay, so I have IO shield first to see. Mm, nothing happened, right? CPU. Whoa, look at that. Look at the amount of water. What? I'm gonna do a close up of this ice action right here. Let's see. Look at that. How far? Oh, wow. Look at the amount of water. Look at how clean that, that cut is. That is actually so cool. Here's the thing I knew the CPU heat spreader was like good at conducting heat, but I didn't know it was that good. What if you use water to turn on your PC? What happens if you use water to turn on your PC? Okay. Let's find out. These two power pins, when shorted, will turn on a computer. Yeah. And as you might know, tap water does conduct electricity and can create a short. Can we use that to our advantage? As always, please don't try this at home. As you can see, this droplet of water is completely bridging the gap between the two power pins. However, if we zoom out, we see the computer has not started. Yeah. If we instead short the pins with a metal object, you can see the computer spin to life instantly. This requires more testing. He has a second video. In my last video, we failed to turn on a PC using normal tap water. So today, let's try salt water instead. 
salt water. When you add salt to the mix, water molecules will pull apart the sodium and chlorine ions, effectively increasing the conductivity of the liquid. Conductivity. As a reminder, these are the power pins we need to short in order to turn on the computer. So now, the moment of truth. As we cover the power pins in salt water, we see that the computer actually no spins way. to light. No way. It turns on. This is so cool to me and goes to show. Be right back. We try regular water. It's just water. Huh? You can see? Huh? Water. Huh? No salt. No salt. So, as expected, nothing. I have here salt. Put in. A lot of salt. Stir, 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 stir. You can see it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. There was a lot of water that went to the motherboard, but oh my god, it actually worked. It actually, I'm gonna have to clean it now. Be right back. That was fun to watch. Let me know if you guys enjoy that kind of videos, man. I always wanted to do reaction videos to TikTok because uh, even before like Sneaky Sushi and Your Law, like when I was in NOC, that was my idea to get the NOC talents to react to things, you know, like uh, I wanted to be a producer, but I just didn't have the time to give this idea out, to flesh out the idea. Because I used to watch like the React channel, kids react and adults react. Interesting story is that before I started this tech channel, a React channel was one of the ideas I had to start. But I, I felt that was the easy way to make content, but it's just not me. I hope this series does great so that I can do more because it was real fun to do all those tests. I, I, next time I do the, the, the gummy, bit, gummy bear test. Lah, huh? But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Really, really thank you so much for supporting me. Throughout the year, you know, COVID hasn't been kind to a lot of people, but I can't be more thankful for all of you guys. Thank you so much and we're done.